Hello everybody, this is Brandon Benjamin here again uh, to do another FX Lightsaber review. Today we will be doing uh, another second review again on my uh, Mace Windu FX Lightsaber. Uh, again, I want to do a review on my Mace Windu Lightsaber because uh, my last video, uh, the quality wasn't too good on it, so I just wanted to do uh, another one a video just to see how it turns out. Um, I can still see my quality on my webcam is not too good, but I really hope you guys can just bear with me for the time being. I will be getting a new webcam uh, very, very soon, so um, y'all guys can watch this in uh, HD a little bit and see the details of my lightsaber better. Not HD, uh, HQ, high quality, uh, so y'all guys can see um, my lightsabers a little bit more. Anyway, let's start. This is my 2005 Mace Windu. Uh, FX lightsaber from episode 2, episode 3. Uh, it's a very nice lightsaber. This one is crafted very nice. I have to say this is uh, one of the finest lightsabers I've ever seen. Of course, uh, Samuel Jackson has to get the uh, one of the best looking lightsabers of all time in Star Wars. Um, it's very, very nice. Uh, like I said, very well crafted. I really like it. This one is one of my favorites. I, uh, this was also my first uh, lightsaber. Um, and as you can see, it's still in very, very, very good condition. I always kept very good care of it. Um, it's very, very nice. Except just right here on the rubber piece. It just has just a teeny tiny little piece chipped off. But other than that, it's, it's really unnoticeable. Nobody can't really tell. Anyway, let's go into the details. Uh, like I said, uh, right, right here, this is your uh, pommel or your handle of your lightsaber. Then you have the back of your lightsaber. And you have your uh, belt clip, as you can see right there. This is what I like to call the mid pommel. I always like to call that the mid pommel. Um, there's something I, I want to stop and just take a little a second here to, just to let you guys know. Some people were saying that uh, it's very hard to duel with these lightsabers or twirl these lightsabers because the switch easily goes off. I learned the secret to this because most people hold their lightsaber with their left hand or right hand on the hilt um, with the pommel and then they put one right on the initiation switch. From now on, don't put your hand on the initiation switch. I mean, if, if you don't have a problem with this, don't put your hand on the initiation switch. Keep your hand somewhat close to the bottom of the lightsaber. If I see if I can, if I can do that for you. Keep your hand somewhat simply at the bottom and put one hand like somewhat in the mid pommel. See, then that way, you see, as my hand is not covering the um, activation switch, just as long as you keep your hands kind of close to the bottom, you can still use your lightsaber. You can still twirl it. Um, that's how I've been doing it. Um, when I first got the lightsaber, that's how I held it. I never really held it by the um, by the activation switch because I know it would have been easy to turn off. So, um, if y'all guys having some problem with holding onto your lightsaber or twirling the lightsaber at all. That was just a little bit of advice. Always keep your hands somewhat close to the bottom on the Mace Windu FX Master Replica lightsabers. Um, keep them kind of close to the bottom and keep your uh, left or right hand, whichever hand you, you use, somewhat close to the bottom and close to the middle. Then that way you don't have to worry about hitting the um, activation switch on your lightsaber. Um, anyway, back to the details. Like I said, this is the uh, mid pommel. And this is your facial panel where your initiation switches are. I, I mean, your activation switches are. And um, here is your blade emitter right here, this little area. It's your blade emitter. I also have to say this lightsaber is uh, very, very nice. It has like the little leather touch light finish to it or rubber touch finish to it. I like the little designs. I can get close up on it. I like the designs on them. The handles are very 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 nice I like that as you can tell there's a trademark on there if I can see if I can find it for you right there I don't know if I guys can read that this is 2005 Lucas Arts master replicas um, this lightsaber uh, like I said is also very sensitive um, it also has the idle hum and the clashes um, this uh, it uses the 64 LED red and blue lights to create purple. Um, Master Replicas did not find the purple LEDs for it, but it's still a nice purple. On webcam, it shows up blue, 
but like I said, it is purple. It's a nice purple. Um, it's not really the brightest or the darkest of blades, but it lights up. It's just still pretty good. Um, it's one of my favorite lightsabers. Um, this lightsaber also runs on six AA batteries. The best batteries to use is Duracell or Energizers. Master Replicas uh, prefer to use Duracell because they last longer. Energizer also lasts longer. I've been doing tests with those and seeing which ones last longer than the others, and they're both pretty much even. So uh, Duracells are either Energizers, just to let you guys know. Um, anyway, I'm going to tell you all the story behind Mace Windu. Mace Windu is uh, a Jedi Knight, and he's the only one, I mean not Jedi Knight, I'm sorry, Jedi Master, and he's the only one who has a purple lightsaber in the movie. I do, like I said, I don't know the story behind his purple lightsaber. I do know that he found it in a crystal before. It's something that I read on the internet that he found it in the, um, not a crystal, he didn't find it in a crystal, he found it in a cave. And um, it was a, a, a crystal that just stood out more than any others, and he found it, and he used it, and it was purple. And that's pretty much the main story of Mace Windu's purple lightsaber. Um, like I said, it's very sensitive when you, you just the barest little touch on the polycarbonite blade, it will uh, send the motion sensors off, the uh, uh, battle clashes, they'll go off very easily, um, very, very nice. Um, anyway, I'm about to go ahead and turn off the lights and let y'all guys see this lightsaber at night or with the lights off. Here we go. Alrighty, this is the Mace Windu 2005 FX lightsaber. As you can tell on the webcam, it's uh, a blue, but like I said, it's purple. It's a very nice purple. It has all the battle clashes. I'll show y'all. Very, very nice. Battle clashes also has the idol home. There's a very nice idol home to it. I'll twirl it just around just a little bit so y'all can see it. Take a look at that. Like I said, it's a very nice lightsaber. It's real, real nice. Like I said, it's not that bright, but it's a. Uh, it'll, it'll pretty much do. It's a nice lightsaber. This is how it looks when you power it down and power up. Just like a real lightsaber. This is one of my favorite, favorite lightsabers ever. I love this one. Um, if you guys are probably wondering what is up with the white gloves, um, well, the white uh, white gloves, I, I don't really want to put no fingerprints on my lightsabers. That's how picky I am with my lightsabers. Um, I really don't like fingerprints or anything on them. I always use my cleaning cloth to clean them. I always wear my white gloves, so I won't put any uh, uh, like fingerprints or anything on them because I always like to keep them very shiny and spotless. Um, I try to keep them in very, very high quality. So, um, This is my Mace Windu FX lightsaber. I hope you guys really like this review and like what y'all saw. Um, if you don't have this one, I definitely recommend it. I mean, go get it. Um, these are getting very hard to find now, I believe. And hopefully uh, you guys will get one. I know they sell them on eBay and Amazon and stuff like that. You can find them. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, I will try to do my best to answer them. Um, you can also go on uh, MySpace and look me up. I have a couple of videos on MySpace with my FX uh, lightsabers and stuff on there if you want to. Um, I will also be doing, I uh, uh, also have many other collections, um, to name a few. I have, uh, as you know, Star Wars. Uh, I also have a Power Ranger Morpher collection from some of the Power Ranger series. I also have Batman and Superman the collectibles and stuff like that. Also have Harry Potter um, wands that I will show you guys once I get done with each of the uh, franchises or uh, merchandise that I'm doing. And hopefully y'all guys will like those reviews also. But anyway, this is my 2005 Mace Windu FX lightsaber. I'll go in close and let y'all guys see that again. That's my lightsaber. I really hope you guys like this video. Like I said, my name is Brandon Benjamin, and thank you very much.